So we're out on the streets doing an outreach with Shores of Grace, um, just here in Hasifi. And uh, that night, I, I usually go out on the streets and I minister the, the transvestites. I just I love speaking just the manhood into them and their real destiny and who they are. But this night was different. Um, this night, I uh, I um, decided to go out with the girls. And uh, as we're out, we're just having a really powerful night of ministry, feeling the real joy of the Lord over these girls, and um, just speaking life and light over them. And uh, we approached a group of girls standing on a corner, and um, we began to just share the Father's love with them and, and, and the beauty that He sings over them. And what turned to be, you know, it should have been maybe 10 or 15 minute conversation turned into an hour conversation um, with all these girls. Um, we were just having a, we were having a good time. I mean, we were at to the point where like we were joking around, and they were even making fun of me, and I was making fun of them. They told me I was old, and they were walking around like I was crippled, just uh, you know, making jokes. And uh, we were having a really good time with each other. And there's this one girl. Um, she stood off in the distance from all the other girls. So the girl approaches me and, and says she has a word for me, and. Uh, I didn't really know what that meant at the time, and uh, neither did our translator, so I just told her, okay, just tell me what she says. And she looks at me and she says, you could be anywhere, doing anything else you want, spending your money on anything else you want. She said, but you're here, and you're here with us. She said, you're here with us, and you're bringing the light and the word to the streets. She said, this is what these girls need. They need the light and the word to come to the streets. She said, whatever comes against you in your life, don't ever stop bringing the light and the word to the streets because this is what you're supposed to do. In that moment, you could feel the weight of her words. The whole group could feel it. And we were just taken back. And uh, no, nobody even knew how to respond. Um, we were so overwhelmed with just the presence of the Lord and the power of the word she delivered. And after she told me that, um, a car pulls up and she gets in a car with another guy and just drives off and we were just left there stunned and um, that word that she gave me that night marked me for the rest of my life and it's the very reason I'm here right now still doing what I'm doing it's the reason I'm still working with Exodus Christ it's the reason I'm still on the streets it's the reason I still believe in bringing the light and life of the gospel to the streets to bring deliverance to these women and children that are enslaved by this nightmarish existence of sexual exploitation. <laughs>